Hi, and welcome to the Divinely Inspired Woman podcast. I am your host, Patricia Wald Hopkins. I am a modern mystic, and I am here to share with you the beautiful wisdom and stories from women that desire to lead their lives inspired by the divine within them. The Divinely Inspired Woman is devoted to walking the path of her soul's calling, tuning into the divinity within to navigate life with ease and grace through all circumstances. She cultivates beauty in her daily life. She is here to share the most authentic self each day through thick and thin. So I hope you enjoy our show today and that you will leave with a, an infusion of inspiration for your soul and for your day and living your life. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of the Divinely Inspired Woman. I'm Patricia Wald Hopkins, your host, and I have a beautiful, amazing woman here, a guest today, Radha Nilia. Is, did I say your name correctly? Because I <laughs> tend to like to pronounce it like it's Spanish. So. <laughs> you, got it, you got it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I always have to check myself with names. And um, yeah, welcome. Thank you for being here today. We're going to talk about this amazing book that you have curated and that is available right now for pre-sale called um, The Stories of the Goddess, The Divine Feminine Frequency Keepers. Yeah, so, so welcome and, and um, tell us a little bit about, about this book. And I know you're the founder of Rada Publishing House and um, The Goddess Code um, collective or is it collection collective collective yes goddess code collective and you're ushering in the modern neo-renaissance and the healing art through you know literature and poetry and people bringing their stories together and that's just it's just such a um a beautiful path i think thank that you. um, you're creating yeah thank you welcome. so much patricia um it's been an honor to walk on this journey with you through three books now <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> i'm so honored i feel yeah. so blessed and you know this is a journey that um we're all taking together because we're all walking each other back home each one of us um and we're all sort of doing our part showing up and trying to help bring back inspiration and creativity um, because we need it. You know, these times have been dark and they have been tumultuous and continue to be that way because now we have Saturn and Pisces and it's sort of, uh, you know, it's kind of like when you're cleaning a house and you start to notice there's more dust than you thought. <laughs> right it's like what's happening at our collective level and individual and so I take it as a great invitation um to transmute you know to alchemize our experiences um all of our all of our emotions like you know also the grief and the sadness and the joy and the epiphanies everything because it's all valuable like I don't I, I'm not one to be like it's, it is love and light. And there's also a lot, it's also, it's also, we're a multifaceted person and there's so many emotions that come through us mm -hmm. um, and really honoring the journey as, as a human being on earth at this time, rather than trying to be perfect or, mm -hmm. um, or believe that we have to be perfect or we have to have it all together because I mean, I don't have it all together. I'm just showing up every day and doing my best and that's it, you know? And, mm -hmm. and that's what I want to remind people that you don't have to be perfect. In fact, it is those imperfections and those pieces that feel, you know, fractured that, that actually make you shine more, you know, like those crystal balls, 
that we I, I love them and I'm obsessed and I put them on yeah. all my windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aren't they? They're they're like glass that's cut and, mm-hmm. and so many fractals of that. And it and because of those fractals, there's more light that comes through. Mm. There's so much more light that comes through. So it's not that we have to be whole and perfect. It's that through the fractals of our experiences and our different perspectives that we actually do become whole, Mm -hmm. the irony of it. And we do share more light, you know, Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's hard because as a woman, we're taught to be perfect and, this perfectionism that is really difficult to achieve and also kind of boring, you know, (laughs) right. (laughs) It's just boring. Like if you have a perfect life and everything's perfect, like I'm not interested in really hearing your story. I want to know what, what broke you open so that you could bloom into the magnificent being that you are. And I'm Mm. pretty sure it was like, trials and tribulations and it's those hard things we come against that help us to grow not that not when things are super smooth and easy can you imagine if we never had any challenge in our life right How would that be we would never become richer in in our soul in our being and I think I'm so excited about all the stories in this book because women talk about all kinds of things mm-hmm. um, you know from, from birth to death, to bringing forward these beautiful, you know, um, aromatherapies and, and perfumes that you brought forward and mm. this creativity that comes through the feminine that is so exciting and yeah. so life affirming, even when life is challenging in the face of opposition, we continue to create mm-hmm. and that's our superpower. So, um, I'm excited for all the women that are coming together because it's like, everyone is a gem in the book and it creates this frequency that the book has that when you read it, you're going to be like, it's just, I mean, I felt that way when I read the chapters, I was like, wow, I'm in awe. And you fall in love with everyone when you read this story because you get to understand the depths of their soul. And mm-hmm. that's the only way we can know each other really um, is through to- storytelling. Right. That's true. That's very true. It's telling stories and, and stories that are filled with heart. Right. And for, yeah. yeah and just, yeah, that, that deep um, presence, I think, presencing of your, your soul in the words that are, are, are written. And I know that you have, you have curated and, and lots of, lots of books, um, as we talked about in this particular one, what, what brought you to creating this? I mean, what, what inspired you to decide to put this book together? The understanding that there is a goddess in every woman, okay. that every single woman carries this kind of like this archetypal energy within her mm-hmm. and um, it's delicious and it's beautiful and it's not invited, you know, it's not really invited in this world. <laughs> this right. world hasn't been friendly to goddesses. I mean, the goddess has been written out of text, has been subjugated to lower... <laughs> timelines and you know basically written out of history and Mm -hmm. so many myths have been distorted because um they they've kind of tried to mold the goddess to be like demonized or less than um Mm -hmm. there's 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 been a a assault against the divine feminine that continues to this day and so I really wanted to bring a conscious awareness to the goddess that lives in every woman, Mm. her frequency, because we are so multidimensional, but when we tap into that divine feminine frequency, it is so specific to each, each feminine. And 
isn't it exciting when we start to come online with that? So mm-hmm. it's sort of encouragement of that, um, sharing that with others and the encouragement of anchoring that into this world that, yeah. you know, that is so hungry for the divine feminine and the mother and all of these energies that are healing elixirs for the soul of this world. Mm-hmm. You know, and so this is, this is our gift, your gift, mm. your gift, all of the women, it's our gift to the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that very true, very truth um, coming through that book and that cover that was created for it um, is really an, an activation in itself. I mean, the, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about that cover and the, and the inspiration? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Well, I have to post in our group um, the first cover because I went out of my way to get original art from this artist. And um, it was it was these women, and I guess it looked like women around a cauldron. I didn't think of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in the forest and it was beautiful, but it had a little bit of a heaviness to it. But it, my mm. intention was that we're holding hands. That's why I loved it. Cause I was like, all the women are gathered and that's my intention for this book and for all projects that we do. Um, but it didn't, it didn't sit well and, and people weren't responding to it. And usually I've been pretty good with the, picking the covers and the mm. art. So I was like, okay, goddess, um, help me. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I asked my designer if she could help me out. I was kind of stuck and I knew I needed to change it. And so she found this incredible image in art. And I thought the moment I saw it, I realized that really it's like within each one of us, we carry so many different archetypes, but mm-hmm. what the archetype that we all have that we're kind of shy about is the warrior, right? Mm-hmm. She's the warrior. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have that inside of us every woman does but that's also a side that we pretend that doesn't you know it's not there and 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 <laughs> the old statement that yes it is there but she doesn't use her sword to hurt people she's a protector of mm-hmm. the mind mm-hmm. and that is very much what each woman is bringing forward to is their stories of their trials and tribulations or or even like what you brought forward with all of your beautiful perfumes that are representing the goddess you're bringing back the sacred and so it is our job as a feminine to protect the sacred Mm -hmm. that is what the divine mother does that is what the goddess does um we are not destroyers we are creatrixes and And we will stand for what's right, even in the face of opposition. Um, And so I just thought that cover just really spoke to me on that. (laughs) Yeah, I I agree. That's, I'm glad that you, you shared a little bit more about it. Um, It, I think it, what you put on the, yeah, put that cover is important, right? Because that's, that, that is like the invitation that, that someone sees and then when they open the book, then they can feel all of the authors and their energies that are in there and their beautiful stories. But it all comes back to that one cover that sort of wraps it all up for, you know, this warrior energy, this this divine feminine frequency keeper. I love that word, the keeper, because it's like the keeper of the flame. I don't know if that's what either intention was, but that's kind of how I I felt it like um you gathered a group of women who are keepers of that yes. keepers of I, that flame and then calling in more women yes, and inviting them. more to remember that sacred flame that lives within them. Yeah. Um, and it was a meditation and, and a prayer to call the women in because it's not like if it's not like fast food where, you know, you just go drive through and everybody gets it. Like, this is something that I knew was um, very specific and Mm -hmm. um, it's again, this is never about I'm better than you or we're better. It it has nothing 
dismantle that right now. This is, but I wanted to call in women that I knew would have sacred frequencies that were very important, right? And and we are here to lend inspiration and to help activate because activators always activate others, right? And every right. woman in the book is an activator and they carry that frequency. And sometimes people um, with activators, it can, the response can be very, <laughs> like it could be um, either people get repelled because that frequency is, it, they're like oh that's so different or mm -hmm. they draw so drawn and they don't know why so there is that energy but I think we can't really apologize anymore for being who we are mm -hmm. um as feminine we've sort of we're, we're kind of told to crawl under a rock and sort of just be happy with with whatever you know instead of really just owning what's actually inside of us we've never been invited to own our gifts to own our frequency mm -hmm. and to own our healing magic that we have um we've been it's been written out of many texts and i think that's where we've fallen we've we have fallen in this world and the rise of the feminine is the rise of us all because mm -hmm. not to go be like, I'm better than you. No, 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 no. We've been, we've been sort of like kicked down and hidden. And, and now right. it's time to sort of be no, no more apologies, no more hiding. Many of us have these encodements of persecution. And so the fear of our voices, because our voice, our magic, our light has threatened mm. so many people in so many lifetimes and it's caused a lot of grief for us and yeah. we've been punished for having this spark and punished and you know ridiculed and um that's not what it's about anymore so I'm here to actually protect you know like bring usher forward these women and sort of be like a protector of this. Like this mm -hmm. is, these are sacred women. These are, this is a sacred book. Like, you know, this, this is divine and we're not apologizing for it. So, um, it's just so important. It's an, important to be an advocate of advocate. the divine feminine voice. Mm -hmm. Beautifully said. I really feel that you are, um, yeah, a protector of the the voice of the divine feminine. As as I've worked with you over the last couple of years, I, I really have felt uplifted by that energy. And I'm very, very grateful that you have encouraged me to speak out and um and share those parts of me that I thought people, you know, would rather not hear about. <laughs> So I know your magic that you hold and encouraging us all to come together to share our stories is so, so important. And I wanted to say also that, you know, you're an inspiration too for, um, you know, the youth, the, the young girls too, who are, who are, have an opportunity to experience their life from a young age in a different, in a different way, in a different culture you know, my, my daughter who's 13 now and just coming into her, you know, more of her goddess energy. I, I really want her to be able to experience that freedom of expression of her divine feminine. So I, I really um, applaud you and celebrate you for, for being an advocate for that. It's Thank really you, beautiful. Sarah. Thank you so much for being a part of these books. They do come from our heart and you know, that's a, that's a hope is that people will, will be able to receive them with an open heart too, yeah. and touch them that will awaken something in their heart. And we're all walking each other home, as I said, and it's, it's a beautiful sacred process that we're going through. And sometimes some days are easier and some days are challenging, but we continue to show up and share and shine that light because it's needed. It is needed. <laughs> it is is there anything else that you would like to share you know about this project or about your publishing house um 
or, you know, the work that you do before we, we tell people how they can yeah. <laughs> hands on this book? <laughs> um, yeah, just that we continue to curate collaborative books and um, we are going to be doing energy healing and soul medicine volume two um, mm. because, you know, we're, we're at a precipice of great change and healers, it's their time to shine. It's their time to share. And, and I really believe that our concepts of these um, modalities are going to shift and we're going to open more to the, to the understanding of energy, you know, everything mm -hmm. is, um, but yeah, we're going to continue to do books. So if you'd like to be a part of any of our projects, we'd be happy to connect with you, talk with you and, um, and to work with you. And so let's let them know how they can access this, this book, the stories Absolutely. of the Slow. Yeah. So <laughs> since, and it's on Kindle right now for pre-release. So I, you know, I think we're going to keep that um, 99 cent pre-release price for the next week because we're just so happy to share this again. It is a gift that we're giving. So grab your copy, just download it. And then three weeks from now, you'll be getting it in your inbox as a, the, you know, readable edition. Um, and let us know how you liked it. You know, we, we love to hear your feedback and we love it when you connect with us. Like it just makes me feel so happy when I get letters from people and they're like, wow, this book really opened my eyes. It shifted something. It brought healing. I, I've, I've gotten letters where people are like, I didn't know other people went through that. Mm -hmm. I felt mm -hmm. like I was the only one. And like those moments matter, you know, because you may think them silently, but when, when we hear them, it literally brings tears to our eyes because we really care and we want, we are, we're really happy that it resonated. So yeah, be in touch. Let us know. We love just, if you just want to send us a note, we're always welcome to hearing from you. <laughs> and we'll make sure that um, I drop those links um, in the description for this episode so that you can find Rada and this new book easily. So thank you. yeah, thank you so much Rada for, for coming and sharing with everybody here, listening, tuning in um, your beautiful creations and um, yeah, the divine feminine frequency that you hold thank, so thank you, you much so love much. and blessings to you all yeah <laughs> much love and blessings everyone have a beautiful rest of your day i'm gonna say goodbye <laughs> oh bye <-bye. laughs> rosebud right yeah, rosebud. <laughs> perfect <laughs> some more love all right everyone bye bye Thank you for listening to this episode of The Divinely Inspired Woman. Again, I am your host, Patricia Wald Hopkins, and I am so glad that you joined us here today. I hope you left with some soul food to inspire your daily life. And if you would like to learn more about my work, please check out my website, patriciawaldhopkins.com, and you can find out... Uh, more about um, my um, divinely inspired um, practice and tools. So thank you again. Have a beautiful day. Hi, I'm dropping in here with a announcement about a program a new mentorship that I am offering. It's called Voices of Gaia. And it's about bringing your voice, your leadership, your life in alignment with Gaia's guidance. So if you feel called to learn more about this program, it's a beautiful, rich program where we dive into your essence. And if you so desire, we develop um, your uh, business around it and really, um, blossom into your whole lifestyle, these, um, this wisdom from Gaia that wants to be spoken through you. So if you feel called, reach out to me at Patricia at PatriciaWaldHopkins.com. That's Patricia at PatriciaWaldHopkins.com. There's no hyphen between Wald and Hopkins. 
And I would just love to hear from you and see if this is a good fit. So thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day.